rocks and stones. They have been here for millions of years. And depending on their ratio of uranium, we will know if they are as much as 4 billion years old or less than 1 million years old. But for sure they were here before humans and would be able to tell us things from ancient times far away from now. And it is unlikely that our planet will ever run out of minerals like rocks. Rocks are able to grow bigger, heavier and stronger. But it takes a rock thousands or even millions of years to go through these changes. Rocks, stones and time. This is my fourth video in the series Basic Ways of Healing Yourself in Nature. Be sure you have seen the third video before you continue with this one. Rocks and stones has been a big part of human life as long as we have existed on this planet. In various ways, humans have connected to the surface by touching stones, using them in various ways in everyday life or carried them as protection. Did you ever pick up a stone and carrying it around in your pocket? Just because it was nice touching it, almost as a relaxing and self-soothing mechanism. Your unconscious mind knows why. Your connection to Earth, positive flowing electrons, as I explained in the third video in this series, can be easily reached if you walk barefoot on stones or if you just touch stones and rocks with the palm of your hand. You will connect to the earth and it will bring you a flow of positive reactions deep inside your brain and your body tissue. You can just sit there for a short while. Five to ten minutes will be enough and it will be highly beneficial to lower your blood pressure and bring you in a more relaxed state of mind. By connecting with rocks and stones like this, you will also connect to an ancient and long forgotten past. If you want to, then close your eyes while you're sitting there touching the rocks and then make a wish to let everything bad from your past go. Just let it go, out of your mind, down through your arms, and let the rock, the stone, take care of it. I promise you, this will work. You might need a little practice. Just because we forgot to connect to nature like this, in our sometimes way too effective world. If you are still uncomfortable with these very easy ways of connecting to nature, and the power of your own being. Then start to find a place with no other around you. Try it out. Be sure to pick up a tiny stone, one that feels right in your hand, one you can keep in your pocket and touch every time around your day where you feel stressed or where your thoughts overwhelm you. Let that stone be your lucky charm to bring you comfort every time you touch it. You can bring your kids or grandkids. They will love this searching for the stones. Touching them, keeping one of them in their pocket. And your benefits from this will be far more amazing than you will know right now. As I used to, I will link to a few scientific results below if you want to read up about this subject and how you use this on a weekly basis in your life. I will return with a new video a few days from now. Much love guys, stay kind and shine your light.